up? My name is Joni. I'm so excited to be joining you here today. You have just caught me in my science lab. This is so exciting. <laughs> I am so happy to be in my lab today working on some things for you. Now, let's jump into a story. I have this really cool, awesome Bible story. It's a true story from the Bible that we are going to go through. You ready? All right. So this true story from the Bible is about Jesus. Now, Jesus was just, he was having supper with his friends and he was having a great time with them, just spending some time with them, eating food. And then all of a sudden, Jesus gets up, he puts a towel around his waist and he goes and washes his friend's feet. Why? Jesus' disciples had been walking around all day with their sandals on and it was very, I'm sure it was very muddy and sandy and dusty. I'm sure it was a very stinky job. But Jesus decided to go and wash his friends' feet. So he took some water, he took this bucket, and then he went around and washed their feet. Why would Jesus do that? Jesus is God's son. Why would somebody so important go around and wash his friends' feet? Well, I'll tell you guys why. It's because Jesus loved them so much. Jesus loved his friends so much, he decided that he would go and wash his friends' feet. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to go wash your friends' feet because you love them so much. But what it does mean is that you can show your friends by something you do that you love them so much. You can give them a high five or a fist bump, or even you can give them a compliment. Now, in all of the, with, or with all the people that you come in contact with, you can L, love them, A, accept them, and F, forgive them to everyone that you come in contact with. Now let's go and do some praise and worship. job with praise and worship you guys that was so fun okay let's make something really fun now I'm getting super duper hungry because I've been in my lab all day coming up with some sort of science experiments to try up some stuff and to see if it works out sometimes it doesn't but sometimes it does I'm super excited when it does now I have a cool little scavenger hunt that we're gonna be doing to find some ingredients for some cookies that we'll be baking. 
I'm very excited about it. Do you guys have a spyglass? If you don't, that is A-OK. -okay. You can just use your fingers or your hands and make a binocular and then you can just look around like that or you can even do this. Kind of like it, ooh, okay, I see you. Alrighty, let's find our cookie mix first. We got some cookie mix around the lab. Where can I find it? If you guys see it, let me know. Hmm, oh, I see it right over there. The next up is eggs. Let me check. Yes, that is what my clipboard says. Let's check it out. Okie dokie. Hmm. We're scanning the lab. Oh! Next up, we've got butter. That's what the clipboard says. Let's check it out. Hmm. Where can I find the butter? Do you guys see it anywhere? Can you guys help me? Hmm. Oh, there we go. I am ready with all of my ingredients. I got my cookie mix. I got my eggs. I got my butter. Alrighty, let's do it. Hmm. Oh, this is gonna be so delicious, guys. I see the chocolate chips. I see the flour. I see the mix. I see everything. Ooh, that looks delicious already. I don't think I'm gonna taste it though because I feel like that wouldn't be quite good yet. So let's see if I can open this. Ooh. This is gonna make a lot of cookies, guys. Are we gonna need all these cookies? It's gonna be so many. I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat them all. <laughs> let's see. Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, check, check. Ooh, ooh. Hang on one second. Hmm, according to my scientific experience and my scientific calculations here, this should make some cookies now. All I gotta do is throw it into the oven. Did you guys know that baking is kind of like a science experiment? It's like, oh, wait, hang on, I have it written down. It's a chemical reaction that happens when the dough is heated. And so then it rises, the heat makes it rise, and then it turns into some delicious cookies. Oh my goodness, I really enjoy cookies. They're so good, especially chocolate chip cookies. Now this is a lot of cookie mix. Now I'm gonna go have to bake them all and I hope you guys enjoy this video coming up. In the meantime, I'm gonna make some cookies and then I'll meet you back here, all right? Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through, follow me through who? Always got a Bible story for me and you. Well, hello friends, I'm Casey. Welcome to Look and See, the place where we look and we look and we see what's in the Bible. Are you ready to look inside the mystery box and see what we can learn from the Bible today? If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, take a look. Ready? One, two, three. Take a look. <gasps> Ooh, it's a mystery picture. I know what we need to do. As we take the pieces off, it will show us what the Bible says is most important. Let's get started. Jesus teaches us what is most important right here in the Bible. Are you ready to see it? We're gonna see it. We're gonna see it. Woo! <laughs> oh, it's Zacchaeus. He didn't have any friends. That's sad. Can you make a sad face? <sighs> but then he met Jesus! Do you think Jesus was his friend? Yes! Jesus was his friend because he loved him! Give yourself a big hug for Jesus' love! <laughs> Let's see what's over here. That's 
a lot of hungry people. Can you rub your tummy like you're hungry? Good job! These hungry people didn't have food to eat. Who do you think gave them food? Yes! Jesus! Jesus gave them food because he loved them. Give yourself a big hug for Jesus' love. What's in this corner? <gasps> it's a woman who is different from Jesus. She's getting some water. Do you think he was kind to her even though she was different? <gasps> yes! Of course! Jesus was kind to her because he loved her. Give yourself a big hug for Jesus' love. One more corner. <gasps> it's Jesus' friend, Peter. Peter wasn't being a very good friend. Do you think Jesus forgave him? <gasps> he did! Jesus forgave Peter because he loved him. Give yourself a big hug for Jesus' love. Now, there is one last piece. Drum roll, please. Good job. Oh, it's a heart. I get it. These are all ways that Jesus loved people. And Jesus told us the most important thing is for us to love people the way he loves people. Huh. That means it's important to be a friend to people who don't have friends. It's important to share food with people who are hungry. It's important to be kind to people who are different than us. And it's important to forgive people when they do something wrong. Jesus taught us the most important thing is to love people the way he loves us. And we know Jesus loves us a lot because he wants to be our friend forever. <laughs> oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Thanks for watching. Look and see. Bye! <laughs> wow! The most important thing is to love others the way Jesus loved us. Jesus loved us so much and He wants us to show that love to other people. I wonder, how can I show love to others today? Huh. Well, I have an idea. I have so many cookies here right in front of me that I just made and they look so delicious. Now, there's so many. I don't think I could eat all of them. So I can go and share them with all of my friends. And that is one way that I can show love to them. A few other examples of how you can show love to somebody is writing a card to somebody that you love or spending time with somebody that you love or telling someone that you love that you love them or maybe it's even giving somebody a hug like your mom or your dad i'm sure you love them so much and you can show them by giving them a big hug remember friends look for ways to love like jesus i am going to go and write a card for my grandma because i love her so much and she lives so far away so i'm gonna go write her a card and send it in the mail and then when she opens it she can think about me and how much i love her because i love her so much now i'm sure you've heard so much about jesus today and about how much he loves us because he really really does he wants to have a relationship with you he wants to be your very best friend now there was a like there's something in your life that that doesn't allow Jesus to be that best friend, and that is called sin. Now, sin is all the mistakes that you've made in the past or mistakes that you might do in the future. But when you ask Jesus to come into your heart, then Jesus takes all that sin away, and then he's there to be your very best friend. Now, I'm, I'm gonna use three letters to help you and to 
just to give you an easy way to remember what it is to ask Jesus into your heart. And that is A, to admit that you've made some mistakes and that you've sinned because sin is just like making a mistake. And to B, believe that Jesus is God's son and that he died and rose again to be your very best friend. And C is to choose to live a life for God or choose to have Jesus as your best friend. So when you ask Jesus into your heart, he's there forever. He's gonna be your very best friend and to help you live your best life ever. Now, in a few moments, I'm going to say a prayer. And if you want to make that decision, I want you to repeat after me. And then you'll ask, you'll have Jesus in your heart and he'll be your very best friend. Are you guys ready? Okay. I want you guys all to bow your heads and close your eyes and repeat this prayer after me. Say, dear Jesus, come into my life. Please forgive me of every mistake I've ever made. I ask that you'll come into my heart and be my very best friend. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Welcome to the family of God, you guys. That is amazing. If you made that decision for the very first time, I want you guys to ask an adult in your life to send us an email at kids at springschurch.com and to ask us for a Bible. If you don't have a Bible, we will send you a Bible and you can read more about Jesus and how much he really, really loves you. Now we're going to go right into another praise and worship song. So let's go check it out. Awesome job with praise and worship, you guys. That was so good. You guys did the actions and it was so fun. Let's get into our memory verse for this month. And our memory verse for this month 
is found in Hebrews 12, 2. I'm sure you guys all remember it from the, the weeks that we've done it before, but let's go over it again. All right, are you guys ready? Okay, let's check it out. So our verse is, let us keep looking to Jesus. Hebrews 12, 2. Awesome, awesome job, you guys. That was awesome. I think we should do it like two more times. Um, hmm. Yes, I think two more times. That's, that's a good calculation. Now, I'm gonna say it again, and then you guys repeat after me, and then we're gonna say it all together, all right? Okay, let us keep looking to Jesus. Hebrews 12, two. Great job. Do you guys think that we can do it all together now? Like super fast? Okay, let's try it. All right. Let us keep looking to Jesus. Hebrews 12, two. Fantastic, you guys. That was amazing. I had so much fun being here with you guys and teaching you this lesson from my science lab. I had so much fun. Now, if you guys have any questions at all about this lesson or lessons that we've done before, or even questions about God, you can send us a message on Facebook or Instagram, or even send us an email on, on our email address at kids at springschurch.com and then we can send an answer back to you or we will get an answer back to you. All right, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye.